All right, hey guys, it's um, part two of our um, video. Sorry for sorry about that, that was my phone. Um, in the last video, I just want to say something real quick. Um, sorry about the one part, my mouse or something on the video started like falling apart and it was looking like really bad or something. Just don't mind that for like a minute, it'll go away. All right. So basically where we left off is we're making this big final text kind of view. Um, <coughs> and yeah, what, what the hell just happened, one sec, I don't know, anyway, sorry about that, um, yeah, so, our text now, this one will come off and close it in, now, what, what we did last time, so now, um, what we're gonna do after this is, okay, we're basically almost done, now it's just making um, materials, setting up the camera or whatever, putting lighting. So you make another uh, material and double click on it. And I'm gonna change this material to a black and um, <clears throat> reflection, 75 brightness um, for now and 70. 75 on the for now. I'm going to click and drag it onto the extruded nerves that I just made. So I got some nice reflection with that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sky object. So now we've got our sky here and I'm going to add light. Uh, I'm gonna make it an area light actually. You can make it an area in light by clicking on the light, coming down and type and making an area, or coming into this and just making an area light. Alright. Now I'm just gonna back it up. And okay. A little trick I learned was um, lights are never 100% white, so I'm just gonna change it to just. The tiniest little bit to yellowish. All right, and I'm gonna do a quick render. All right, looking good. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come under uh, the primitives tab and I'm gonna make a plane. Um, I'm just gonna make that smaller, make that longer, and I'm gonna rise it up above the text so you can see it up here. It's up above the text now. I'm gonna make another. Um, Material, double click, and um, I'm gonna leave the color what it is, but um, I'm gonna come into the luminance channel. I'm gonna click it, and I'm gonna bring it to 200. No, not 500. 200. There. All right. Now I'm gonna click and drag that onto the plane. Now, if we go in. I just went into the render settings by clicking that little um, render thing with the wait uh, movie thing or whatever you call it. Um, I'm gonna go to anti-aliasing. Everything's looking good. All right, never mind. Um, I'm gonna copy my plane out and. Um, I'm just going to rotate it by, rotate it, and I'm just going to drag it down, so now I have, I'm just going to put a little bit of an angle on, alright, so now if I render, huh, it's not, expect, it's not what I'm expecting to happen, but I just deleted this guy, yeah, um, I'm gonna keep this guy. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna make another texture, and I'm gonna make it a gradient in the color tab. And I'm just gonna make it um a D to V, so the angle changes. And, and from and change the black to a dark gray. And then I'm gonna make another one that is blue. I'm gonna drag the blue out 
So now it goes um, gray, blue, blue, white, white, white. I can drag and jump that on the sky object. All right. All right, and then. I'm just gonna move my plane down there. And, all right. If we reverse a bit, see now we got some, um, the luminance on the planes that we were putting, they kind of make these little like light up things. I don't know, I think it looks sexy, to be honest. All right, and um, basically all you have to do now is um, animate your camera. And um, I find the best way to animate your camera is click on this light and create a camera. So here's our camera right here. And um, the best way to animate this is to create a null object by going under uh, objects, null, and then dragging um, the camera into the null object. And now I'm going to click on this little um, black square beside camera to look through it. I'm going to click on the null object so I rotate around the center. And I'm going to make it start to the left and low. I'm going to click keyframe. I'm going to move it up to around 150. I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to back it up. And I'm going to click another keyframe. Uh, oh man. Sorry. What I did is I was creating keyframes for the null object and instead of my camera. So I got to click the camera, click a keyframe, click back on the null object, move it to where you want to go, back it up a bit, 150. Click the camera. All right. You have to click where you want to go. And then, oh man, sorry guys about this. And then you click it. And I, I just need to move this plane back a tiny bit. Alright, so now if we play, it comes right across there. And that's not what I wanted. I don't know what's going on, but it should work fine for you guys. Um, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much the tutorial. You can mess around with the rest of these settings. Um, you can change your reflections, you can change the colors, you can do anything you guys want. Um, so, uh, yeah guys, I guess that's the end of my tutorial. Um, leave a comment in the description. If you would like um, a tutorial on how to make this background here. And yeah, um, thanks for watching guys. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe for more. And leave comments. If you got any questions, I'll answer them really, really fast. Um, and yeah, uh, if you guys need the project file, just private message me and I'll PM you the link to the download. And yeah. Nice guys. Peace out.